We are getting into this video very late tonight and there's a specific reason I'm sure you already saw it in the title and it's all going to make sense in just a second. As some of you know, if you've been keeping up with the vlogs, me and Lexi are working on having a little demo or a little Lexi. <laughs> and today we spent our time together just kind of like talking about everything we want to do with our kid. Yeah, just like kind of just like having a conversation just us about like our future and you know what we see for our kid and, and all that. What you guys don't know is not everything is meant for camera. Maybe you do know that, but not everything goes on camera. Today these were deep talks. Talks that we probably should have had a long time ago before we even started trying. Mm -hmm. But I've never had a kid, she's never had a kid, so we're kind of just learning as we go. Yeah, and, and learning together too. Yeah, which is really cool and I hope that some of you watching are benefiting from us sharing this experience because we really want to take you guys through the whole thing of course i mean we're content creators and we're, <laughs> i'm a youtuber you know what i'm saying but uh yeah one thing that we decided today while talking is we are not going to plan a baby lately it's been more like work versus an experience and the reason being it's just like, I mean, it was kind of my fault because I'm just nervous and excited at the same time. And I was getting OD about how many times we did it and the <laughs> ovulation, the, her ovulation cycle. And I've literally been counting every single day that she didn't have a period to the T. Like I wake up in the morning and ask her and yeah, we were just starting to butt heads a little bit. I think one thing about Damo too is like, whenever he like does something or like gets into something, he has to do it like, I don't perfect. even know if I'm, yeah, like perfect, like no mistakes, like scientifically, like this is how, and I think it was just getting a little like too much and we just kind of missed that like connection of like what it's all about yeah it's crazy like a lot of you said it in the comments like don't plan it don't try to plan it it's not supposed to be like that now i apologize because i was reading the comments i was like what you guys don't know what you're talking about like screw you screw y'all like what but then we, like i said we started butting heads a little bit and i was like you know this it's my fault i'm making this a huge deal i'm making it a, a freaking science experiment instead of an experience that we share together that we will never forget yeah facts um and that's why we were like yeah we we shouldn't plan this like it was getting to the point guys we were talking about like what day we wanted to have the baby and what would be the time like we were like should we stop right now and wait till like this week because nine months would be this day and it was like i you know i give it to lexi like you're right she's the one who said like this is not the way i want to do it like this is just too like to the book like she just wanted it to be natural and, and yeah. i agree with you it should I, I be i feel like people do that too when like they've been trying for a long time and nothing's happening yeah and then it starts to get down to the science and like okay now yeah. we need to like do that but i mean this is our first time even like really like trying you know so it's like might, might as well let it have fun doing it and just be excited and see what happens no she's right it's the experience and i should be focusing more on the memories we're making right now not on the science experiment and the numbers and the times and the dates and the names but i admire and you for caring and no, learning yeah. and all that you know i'm just yeah i'm nervous that's why and i just don't want to mess up because i don't want to disappoint myself or anybody else this is probably one of the scariest things i've ever done in my life but it, in a good way like it's not yeah. scary because i'm like not sure if i can do it it's just scary because i've never done it before and you always have that feeling right like yeah. like what if we're bad parents yeah. yeah i mean i think everybody has that and like they always say like you you're never going to be 100% ready. You know, and people say like, I'm not ready. Like you'll, you'll never feel like you're 100% ready. So yeah. you might as well just 
let it happen. Like, if then, you know you love each other and it's yeah. what you want to do, then just, like, let it happen. And you know, like, deep down inside, like, you would never let anything happen to that kid. And a lot of people say, like, something in you just clicks. Like, like you have to do whatever you need to do to make sure this kid is taken care of. I relate it to our dog a lot because our dog is a star dog in this group and it's because of the way we raised him and me and Lexi were really good parents with Elza. He's, he lives in a very loving home and he's a very, aren't you a happy doggy? <laughs> <laughs> and he's very loved and he's very disciplined and he's very behaved but he lives a very good life because of it. And all of this going on today led into conversations that were really healthy, like just stuff that I think every couple should have before they do what we're doing, which is trying, which is like how you're going to parent the child and just like asking each other like what their religious beliefs should, like to, today, you know, we were talking about, I was like, yeah, I want our kid to be Christian and believe in God. You're cool with that. And obviously, you know, Lexi was like, yeah, of course I'm Christian. And I believe in God. So yeah, yeah like, like, I would love to take my kid to church you know like i don't want to force anything on them but just like show them like this is what you know i believe in and you know and and that's a big thing for me because i'm not gonna lie like when the conversation came up I, in my head i was like what if she said no like that would actually be a problem for me for right. her to be like we're gonna raise this kid together but i don't want him to believe in god because i believe in god very deeply and what was another one we were talking about? Um, oh, like, like sharing the time with the kid, like, and I mean, I mean that um, in a way as like how are you saying like how we're gonna like be fair about the responsibilities because we should both be present and responsible equally for our kid as far mm -hmm. as how much we love and care for our kid, whether it's a he or she. Yeah and it was cool like she's very blessed she works a at home job and makes great money and for me guys it's a little different like on youtube sorry on youtube i have to post or i don't make my money and that's a really big thing in my life like if i don't post there is no like sick day to recomp the money there's no like like if Lexi was making her cheese off YouTube and she went in to leave for pregnancy, like YouTube wouldn't be like, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she was saying like how she would majority take care of our baby during the day if I had to leave and shoot because I, my career requires me to leave the house. Mm -hmm. And then how I agreed with her, like, you know, yeah, that's how we could work it out. And then when I come home, the night shift, since I'm up late, and she has to be up early would kind of be me and my responsibility. You know what luxury we do have though that I'm so happy and blessed is that we both can be at home all day if we want to with their kids. Yeah, we really could. Like a lot of people, you know, they have to go to work, they have to leave, they have to get nannies, they have to figure out where to take the kid. But like we're so blessed to the fact where I can work from home and you, you know, you could do a video at home. Maybe you're out for an hour, or maybe you're out for... I mean, remember what we were talking about, the whole social media thing? Yeah. We were talking about social media with our kid and whether we're going to let our kid use social media. And the reason it came up is because we were talking about how our kid would be content and how we wanted to do that. And obviously, we're YouTubers. We're, our kid's going to be content. And But we were saying how we didn't want to abuse it or make it uncomfortable. And then it came up to the conversation of like, what about him in social media or her in social media? And we were saying like the first like 10 years or so, we don't want them to use tablets or social media. We want our child to really experience outside and the outdoors and fishing and camping and yeah. playing sports and skateboarding and beaches and beautiful environments in the world and appreciate that and know that first before we introduce them to a world online mm -hmm. um not that we're going to totally strip it from them and then we really want to be tight about social media at times because i really want my child to be present in the life around him while he's grow he or she is growing up mm -hmm. uh and you didn't have any problems with that i think we're on the no, same page just because we both 
we both like it's crazy to to think how we grew up without like social media and like we would really go outside and play in the dirt and mm -hmm. like just do random stuff and like that, surf skate beach yeah, play sports i mean of course kids still do that nowadays but it's like you see it everywhere when you go out to restaurants yeah they're just sitting on these ipads and it's like i get it it's technology today but it's at the end of the day it's the parents dis decision you know and i'm not gonna make it weird i'm not gonna have him not have an iphone and all his friends have one and when he goes yeah. out it's no iphone time like nah go use your iphone but when we're at home i want to spend time with you quality time and i'm gonna make it around having fun and mm -hmm. oh that was a another one uh we're not gonna acknowledge crying we decided today in the beginning we will yeah like you know baby and yeah but like what eight or ten not even like really like four or five years old i was old. gonna say like yeah like five six years old is when they can kind of control their emotions yeah and then it's like then you don't want to acknowledge the crying because then that's how they're gonna tell you what they want yeah we were we were just saying like if our kid doesn't get their way and they cry we're not going to acknowledge it because we don't want that to be the solution but how when they stop crying when they finally stop crying how we'll instantly come over there and try to resolve through communication mm -hmm. to show that communicating is more effective than lashing out in emotion yeah. not that it's not okay to cry like if my kid falls and cries i'm going to be there yeah. but if i, I think yeah i was just gonna say i think there's like examples for every like situation yeah. but you know for the most part it's like you don't want to share your toy like don't cry talk about it like yeah you know? my dad did it with me and he would acknowledge me when i cried while for emotions of like grief or pain but when i cried over a fit or attitude he would completely ignore me even if i cried for an hour but really? as soon as I stopped crying, he would come over and be like, so do you know why I took that away from you? I'm like, because I did this. And and went, did I ask you not to do that? And I'd be like, yeah. But was it worth crying? <laughs> and I'd be like, no. <laughs> and he'd be like, so next time I ask you, you're not going to do it? And I'd be like, yeah. And he'd be like, all right, then go get it and don't do it again. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah. I love you, buddy. And I'd be like, I love you too. <laughs> yeah and it's not like you're ignoring them like you don't care you're just you know trying to teach them the right way to communicate and talk about their feelings yeah it's something that a lot of people struggle with and that's our whole thing having this conversation guys was like what are we gonna do to install or like raise our kid to have good habits and what are we gonna do to prevent our kid from making the same mistakes as us and mm -hmm. We get nothing is in our control and some things are truly out of our control, but just, we were like, man, why didn't we talk about all this stuff before we started going full fledged into just doing it every night? And I was like, I was like, you're right. And it really all started with today and the little scare we had, cause we're on day four. I don't know if I said it already, but we're on day four of Lexi missing her period. And it's supposed to be seven that you're really supposed to be like, okay, we need to take a test, but you're always able to take one early just to see. And we were talking with the urgent care today and they were saying it's totally possible to get results within the first four to seven days. So today is day four and we are going to take a test and who knows, tonight might be really, really, really dope. Um, I'm four nervous um <laughs> but like super stoked at the same time but this is why all this happened and we just kind of like freaked out because it was we thought well maybe we're not that it might be but yeah you get what i'm saying we just kind of freaked out and a lot came out today yeah that i think we've been both trying to talk about and pretty much don't do what we're doing if you guys are going into the process with your loved one of maybe having a little one talk things out peacefully and nurturingly and be open-minded and you know don't plot everything from all your you know don't plot everything all crazy is what i'm saying like yeah enjoy the moment enjoy the moment but be smart 
you know yeah. i already feel a lot better talking about these things today because mm-hmm. it just kind of gave me a perspective of like how things are going to be or and what we can ex- kind of expect versus like not even knowing what her perspective as a parent was going to be yeah i kind of know because of this little dude right here but <laughs> you know what i'm saying like th- this is a kid not a dog right yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this guy's an angel, but you're totally right. This is a dog. Like, yeah. imagine, like, this was a little, like, toddler right here. I still like, wish we so could crazy. have brought you guys, though, because we talked about a lot, like, way more than what we're saying. Like, we even talked about, like, fast food and how it's not going to be a regular thing. And Bro, my mom never gave me fast food as a kid. Yeah, and just just really doing things the right way, but... We did stop by CVS on the way home, and um, is it time? It is time. We have the pregnancy test. Lexi's going to go in the bathroom and pee pee on one of these. You can't do it for me. I'm nervous. You want me to pee on this for you? That's a W joke. But uh, yeah, I'm tripping out a little bit right now. Okay. I know it doesn't probably look like it in my face just because. I don't want to celebrate, but I am like, my heart is beating like, oh my gosh, this could be it. I feel like you're good at like composing yourself too. I just love you, baby girl. And I don't I love you care too. what happens, whatever happens, baby. Oh, look at oh. this boy. Are you happy too? What is it? What is it? You're gonna be the best big brother ever. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take the box with me so I can. All right. Just pee on it, right? I don't know. Read the directions, please. And don't do it wrong. Okay. There's no reason for us to. Simply hold the absorbent tip in your your urine stream for five seconds. Lay the test on a flat surface while it develops, and your results will be confirmed in just two minutes. So after I set it down, you have to set a two-minute timer. All right. this is why youtube is cool guys because i even though we're like filming videos it's like documenting like important times of your life you know i got videos with like my dad and stuff that i'll be able to watch later on in life and uh like videos of my mom and just lots of people that i love and even though they're just like videos, they're, they're more than that, you know? It's like my photo book of my entire life. Oh my God, I'm about to cry right now. <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate everybody supporting me on this YouTube journey. We're overdue on this, but it's just been such a blessing the last two years and yeah, with YouTube Live and just like, just the the place I'm at on YouTube right now has just been, it's just, yeah, God bless, man. Okay, you gotta set the timer. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, counting down. I need a drink. Pregnant is two lines. Not pregnant is one line. It says test five days sooner. Provides early detection. We got this, the perfect one. The pregnancy hormone. Over 99% accurate. One minute and four seconds. But Let's after this, no planning, promise. And we'll just, we'll just go with the flow. It's going through your head right now. <laughs> a lot, 
of things are going through my hair right now. Mm, me too. What? I feel like he senses like energy, like, you know? He's just acting all excited right now. <laughs> Can you try to look too? I'm like, who do we tell first? 25 seconds, come on. This is not pee on the floor, is it? No. Oh. It's from me washing my hands. It is a little wet on that though. But that's what the cap's for. It's my first time. Get down. Down. Yeah. All right, we have uh, it just ended. Timer just stopped. I just uh, clicked it on accident, so. You wanna flip it? It's up to you, baby girl. If you want to do it, you can. You do it. <laughs> so, what was it? It was one line, you're not two lines, you are? Yeah. Should we take another one? Why? No, that means I'm not. I know, so should we take a another one to make sure? We can, I came with two. So have you ever missed your, your period for four days before? No. Yeah. Well, how do you feel? Hey Siri, can a, pr can a pregnancy test be wrong? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Hey Siri. Can a pregnancy test be wrong? I can't help you with that. Hey Siri. Hmm? Can a pregnancy test be wrong? I can't help you with that. Why? What the heck? <sighs> yes, pregnancy test with most at home pregnancies are 98. Uh Okay, just just do the other one. Just make sure. Okay. Come on. Just in case. Can you still pee, or did you let oh, it all? Oh, that's a good point. I can try. Let me at least try. It has to be five second stream. Don't waste it. So let's just try tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. As of right now, it says not pregnant, but. We're just checking guys. That was her first time ever checking. It has been four days since she's had her time of the month. So if she doesn't have her time of the month in the next couple of days, we'll do another one at day seven. Yeah. But I, we are gonna do that second one tomorrow. So I'll keep you guys posted. I really hope some of y'all are learning from this experience just like we are, cause we don't know what the hell we're doing. Just like a lot of people out there. We're just kinda, you know, doing it together but we're not worried whatever comes our way we're going to get through it together just like we've done for the last 10 years and yeah appreciate you guys watching this video go down below hit the subscribe button turn on all post notifications and i'll see you in tomorrow's vlog i've been moving in cruise control can't stop won't stop because i feel so unstoppable yeah yeah even times when i lose control can't stop won't stop because this is all i've ever known yeah Avoiding altercations Don't you test my patience, don't you know Don't test it Pray to God I get a blessing you, you. Cause this is dedication I don't ever plan to let this go Gotta get it hit So you know I'm about to go ahead and lock it I've been moving in cruise control Can't stop, won't stop Cause I feel so unstoppable Can't stop, won't stop, cause this is all I've ever known Cruise control Can't stop, 
won't stop Cause I feel so unstoppable Yeah Yeah Even times when I lose control Can't stop, won't stop Cause this is all I've ever known Yeah